What happened to you and your friend, Naya? I feel like it's a such thing as break in friendships, if y'all get what I mean. You know, are you and RJ official now? That's it. That's all. Close that chapter. That is my last time ever talking about that situation. another video and I know my videos been very very off I haven't been posting they've been boring y'all but I guess I'm gonna get y'all back on track I'm gonna start posting more because I really 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 been slacking and I need to post to keep y'all updated because for some reason when I post stuff on my TikTok y'all be like wait what or y'all be just so shocked so i'm about to keep y'all updated and yeah and anyways y'all starters life been cool life been great no depressing moments no mental problems like life been great just focus on getting out of school and trying to pick what college you want to go to that's all life been about but basically i asked instagram like always for my phone look bigger than me for some q a questions and we about to start and we're gonna answer them truthfully <laughs> and we not sparing no questions now some questions y'all asked was not okay y'all asked about people who ain't even in the picture no more I don't know <laughs> let me shut up but y'all for y'all asking about the people that's not a picture no more i'm gonna answer in this video to clear up everything i'm guessing and yeah so don't go ring out my mouth i mean not ring out my mouth. don't clip me and make it seem like i'm talking about nobody i'm just clearing it up and letting y'all know what's going on and where we stand today this time of day anyway so, first question is asking, are you healed? That was a great question because I feel like some people think that I still be butthurt about my previous relationship, but I'm honestly not. I'm healed up, happy, moved on, moved the frick on. I wish I could curse. I've moved on, and yeah, I've just been in a great space. Y'all don't know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, y'all keep acting on my mentally. That's the same. That goes for that too. Boom. This is acting. Girl. Mm. We're not doing this. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is acting. How do you feel about moving on? Uh, I feel like moving on takes time and growth. Like, you actually have to realize what you're moving on from and why you're moving on and why you shouldn't go back. Like, because if you have to move on from a situation, then it, it, it obviously means the situation is not healthy. It's not doing nothing to better you. So, it's time to move on. And with me, it, I'm not going to lie, it took time for me to move on. But I would say you need a, a distraction. Not saying that the person I'm with now is a distraction. It was just like a way to keep me away from my emotions towards that person. Like it made me, I don't know how to explain it, but it made me like back away from that person and move on and open another door if y'all get what I mean and that's how I feel about moving on I feel like moving on is only your choice like it's up to you whether you want to move on or not because you got to ask yourself do you see this person in your future do you want to be with this person is this person right for you is this person better than you 
Yeah, I think that. And I had to think that for myself. And y'all see where I'm at now. <laughs> Let me shut up. Like, I'm in a good place. I am in a good place. Let's not. Let's not try that. Um. This is asking. What age do you see yourself moving out your mama house? I'm not going nowhere. This probably sounds dumb. But I ain't going. I'm not going nowhere no time soon. Because it's like. With Jay, Jay's older than me, and I see her mom a parent with him, and it's not really, it's not no strict parenting, or it's not no, I don't know, whole new hostage or anything, if y'all get what I mean. Like, he still get treated like an adult, even though he's in his parents' house, if y'all get what I mean. So, yeah, and my mama is my girl, so it's like, leaving the house, I'm leaving my mama. I'm leaving Cam, like, and I ain't even got friends. Like, that's so crazy. Why would I leave this big old peaceful house just for it to be my mama and Turtle? Like, they already said that once we all get old, it's literally just going to be them. And it is, so they're okay with us staying until we're ready to go. Now, when I hit about that 23, 20, it's time to go, because... Don't nobody want to be, don't nobody want no girl living in her mama house the whole time. They want a bad bitch, I ain't a penny one. <laughs> I saw dumb, but they probably want an independent girl. And they don't show really too much independence. Is that a word? That's not a word. It sounds like I'm not educated. Let's rephrase. <laughs> Get to the next question. Okay, this question goes with why well, I don't have friends. This question says, what happened to you and your friend, Naya? Okay, that whole little situation, to sum it up, friends, at the end of the day, friends have problems. Friends go through things. I feel like it's a such thing as break in friendships, if y'all get what I mean. You know how you, you take a break? To like better the relationship in a in a full committed like couples relationship, I feel like that's needed in a friendship because y'all being friends twenty four seven, it brings out I don't know how to explain it, but I guess because I didn't heard this from not but one but two people. I'm insensitive with people's feelings, and I really really <laughs> i really really am self-centered from people that's what they say so i guess <laughs> me being self-centered caused me to lose my friends but uh anyways that's what i gotta say i feel like friendships deserve breaks too but going back to that, what happened with me and her, nothing happened like that serious. It was just a misunderstanding. And like I said, I'm unsensitive and I'm self-centered. So I just had to check out that friendship real quick. And then, yeah, we obviously matured, talked about it. We're cool. We're not the best of buddies, but we're cool. So, yeah, that goes to that. Nothing really happened. It was just a fallout. You know how friends fall out. But I just didn't like. I'm not going to. Yeah, I told her this. I didn't like the when we fell out the social media part. Because that, I'm, first of all, I'm a big influencer. What I put on the internet, people can take and run with that. So, I don't know how to explain. If I'm not putting nothing on the internet, I don't think that that person should be putting on nothing on the internet about the situation. So that's another reason why it took me a long time to say something about the the friendship. But honestly, I can say it was a it was a lesson learned. Honestly, it was an eye opener for me towards people' feelings. Honestly, and. Yeah, we're too mature and too old to be sitting there arguing over something small, so, yeah.
But I apologize like multiple times before we we like stop being cool. But I'm not about to kiss nobody ass. No. <laughs> I wasn't about to kiss nobody ass, so I checked out the friendship. And yeah. But now we're good. We talk. And yeah. That's it for that question. Um this question is I don't even think I should be I don't even think I should be bringing him up still because this question is asking him, are you in town still cool? I'm not going to say cool, but we don't have a problem with each other. Well, I don't have a problem. Cause I have no reason to have a problem. The breakup was not <gasps> nothing like that. It was just time to depart. And I can say that I've learned a lot from that relationship. So, I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, that's it. That's all. Close that chapter. That is my last time ever talking about that situation. Anyways. Okay, the next one is asking, do you got your V card? Yep, I got my V card. I got my Chase card. I got my Gold card. I got that Cash App card too. <laughs> Let me stop. Yes, I do have my V card. I don't know why y'all just want me out here just doing it. Y'all just want to see me do bad. I'm not saying that's bad, but y'all just want me to <laughs> be getting nasty and I'm not. Anyways, <laughs> how do you, ooh, I shouldn't have laughed after that. I'm not doing it. Next question is, how do you feel about the Maya? And why your situation? That honestly has nothing to do with the man. Y'all know me. I don't. I don't got no opinion on that. That has nothing to do with me. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I don't know. I just hope they come to a good common ground. Cause we don't need that happening. Mm -mm. <laughs> I feel like somebody grandma. <laughs> okay. Okay. This question is asking, do you wish sometimes you weren't famous or popular? Um, I wish that sometimes, but sometimes, not sometimes. I'm very grateful for the position that I'm in now. Because it opened doors for a lot of things, if y'all get what I mean. Like, it opened doors for, like, deals and all type of stuff and it's it's also exciting like knowing the little kids that look up to you or like other girls your age that look up to you like i can be on tiktok live and she went like girls you think stuff that you think wouldn't attract people they'd be like what's your lash um length or um do you recommend a certain type of face product i feel like i love that that i'm in not influencing but like i'm a person that most girls my age look up to if y'all hear what i mean whether people don't look up to me or not but i feel like most girls with me, with me being in the influencer where i'm in which is like beauty clothes and all type in youtube i really enjoy that girls look up to me about that type of stuff because that's just so like that's so tea Anyways, <laughs> I guess this is the last question. The last question is asking. <laughs> the last question is asking, are you and RJ official now? Yup. That's my man. We're official now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why y'all think that ain't my man. Let me shut up. <laughs> yes, we are official now. Um, it shocked a lot of people because I would like uh push it away and be like, no, I don't like that one. 
Like, the whole time I did. Whole time I'm the one who reached out first. Okay, let's stop being delusional. But, yes, this is my man. We've been together for about, I'm going to say six. Five or six, five or six right now. But we've been talking for like a long time. I don't even remember when. I could say, I won't say a day because people gonna think I was cheating. No. Anyway, we've been talking for a very, very long time, but like, we're in a relationship now. And yeah. Anyways. Last question is. Oh, what do you want in the future and goals you have for the future? In the future, I want to go to the college that I want to go to. I do not want to go to no college that's just, okay, they accept me. No, I want to go where I want to go. I want to, <laughs> I want to get away, but I'm scared. But in the future... I see myself rich as hell, just buying my mama all type of stuff for all the days she cries, stressing. I just see me spoiling my mama and my daddy. Let's not forget about the bald head man. And then giving the thanks to the man up above. That's what's going to be in my future. And then, what else? What else? Oh, I want to buy my TT a house. No, she have a house that my grandpa built. But I want to get it remodeled. Because my mama trying to do that right now. But you know, that take a process. That take money. That take a coin. So, I'm trying to be rich. While my sister in school, I don't want her to want for nothing. Mark my words, y'all. I'm gonna be the Kardashian in my family. <laughs> Let me shut up. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I probably talked a lot. Let me know if y'all want more of these because I think I'm about to do a makeup routine soon. Then, yeah. Because on TikTok, a lot of y'all be asking me, should I do a makeup routine? I think I'm gonna do one. But anyways, go. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if y'all want to see me talk more. If y'all give me some topics to talk about. And my face is blushing because it's hot. Peace.